Hey, Yanchan. <laughs> We're trying to rehearse for a play, but the lead actress isn't here. Would you mind filling in for her? <sighs> Come on, it'll be fun. It's a play about a serial killer. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I'm busy today. Oh, I, I understand. <laughs> uh, bye then. Okay, I'll help. Yay! Come with me, Yanchan. Oh, you're leaving already? Um, okay, see you around. The killer picked up the knife that was on the table. Then, she went on a killing spree, no! murdering everyone around her. With each kill, she lost more and more of her sanity, and her attacks became more brutal and savage. When the deed was done, she burst into maniacal laughter. <laughs> now that she had calmed down, she was able to proceed to the next phase of her plan. The killer quickly began to destroy the evidence of her crime. She picked up one of the corpses. She carried the corpse to a nearby incinerator, and she dumped the corpse inside. Once all five corpses were in the incinerator, she activated it. Corpses incinerated, she prepared to clean up the rest of the evidence. The killer started to clean up all of the blood that she had spilled. First, she grabbed a bucket. She brought it to a sink and filled it with water. Then, she added bleach to the water and dipped a mop into the bucket. After that, she mopped up every last drop of blood on the ground. With all of the blood mopped up, she moved on to the next part of the cleanup process. killer quickly ran to the shower building to clean herself up. She opened up her locker. She removed her blood-splattered outfit and changed into a towel. Then, she took a shower and washed the blood from her body. When she was clean, she returned to the locker and changed into clean clothing. Perfectly clean. Now, nobody would suspect that she just committed murder a few minutes ago. The killer carried the murder weapon to a drinking fountain and used water to wash the blood away. Then, she picked up the clothes that she had worn during her killing spree. She brought the blood-stained clothing to a washing machine, tossed it inside, and activated it, wiping away the last piece of evidence that connected her to the crime. Mm, 
just thought of something. Instead of cleaning the evidence, she could have just dumped it into the incinerator along with the corpses, you know? Well, I guess it works either way. The killer needed to steal a key, but a witness was nearby, so she hid behind a nearby wall. Once she was hidden from view, she performed a creepy giggle. The witness, confused and unsettled by this unexpected sound, began to investigate the noise. While the witness was distracted, the killer quickly grabbed the unguarded key. With the key in hand, the killer was able to proceed to the next phase of her master plan. The killer wanted to dispose of a corpse, but witnesses were nearby, so she put on a raincoat put a tarp underneath the corpse of her latest victim, grabbed a circular saw, and chopped her victim's corpse into pieces. She removed the raincoat, dumped the dismembered body parts into the incinerator, and activated it. of a corpse in front of a group of witnesses without raising any suspicion. Excellent. The killer made a mistake. She allowed a witness to see her while she was covered in blood. The killer's reputation was at stake. She spoke to the witness and quickly made up an excuse. The witness fell for it. Next, the killer casually socialized with the witness to maintain her act. The witness was a member of the drama club, so the killer made a positive comment about drama. The killer was now on good terms with the witness. Her reputation was safe. For now. The killer researched her victims thoroughly before killing them. She took out her smartphone, snapped a photo of her victim's face, saved it for future use, and hid behind a wall before her victim could take notice of her. By studying her victim's routine, she could visualize her victim's whereabouts at any point in time. She could even visualize the presence of nearby objects that would be useful for committing murder. The killer grabbed a syringe and a tranquilizer. She hid the syringe in her clothing. She spoke to her next victim and convinced the unsuspecting girl to follow her into a secluded room. She closed the door behind her, took out the syringe, and stabbed the girl from behind. She dragged the girl's unconscious body to a large case and dumped her inside of it.
She left the area and returned after midnight to collect the body of her victim with no witnesses. The killer decided to drown her next victim. First, she grabbed some rat poison. Next, she used a giggle to lure her victim away from her food. <laughs> then, while her victim was distracted, she put the rat poison into her meal. The killer waited until the victim was puking into a toilet, snuck up behind her, and drowned her! What are you? If she could manage to find some lethal poison, I guess she could put that in the food instead. The killer planned to murder her next victim with electricity. The first step was grabbing a bucket. She filled the bucket up with water and dumped the water on the ground at her victim's feet. Then she picked up a car battery and threw it into the puddle of water. Even as she stood over the corpse of her latest victim, she was already planning her next murder. As the killer continued to take lives, she encountered different types of victims. Most of her victims were easy to take down. fought back. Some victims would fight tooth and nail against the killer, attempting to disarm and apprehend her. However, she always stood victorious in the end. She prepared to build a tripwire trap. She grabbed a knife, a spool of thread, and masking tape. Her next victim would die by fire. She grabbed a canister of gasoline and poured it into a bucket. She poured the gasoline into a water cooler and set up the trap. After her unsuspecting victim was covered in gasoline, she used a candle to light her on fire. this? It smells like... gasoline? <gasps> she had killed with blades, water, electricity, and even fire itself. She controlled the elements. Today, she would eliminate her target and dispose of all evidence without being spotted even once. Oh, wait! Yanchan, that's not right. But don't worry, it's okay. We'll just start over and try again. Today, she would eliminate her target and dispose of all evidence without being spotted even once.
Mission accomplished. There was nothing she could not do. She had become a true master of death. Thanks for your help, Yanchan.